I am the all-consuming void! Me and my fairy lights, by the way. Hi, everyone! We on and we the peoples. Welcome in, new kid. Ah, just by like a se just by a couple seconds. I'm not gonna refute the statement that I am late, though. Happy Friday, everyone! Uh, I hope you're all doing well. Uh, I I'm just gonna I'm gonna just say it at the top of the stream. I have made it through. Seconds are seconds. Seconds are seconds. No one, no one can deny that the second is important. It's key. Uh, what are we made of except? What is time made of except the arbitrary unit that we have described as a second? Um, but I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna put the the stuff that's currently on my brain up at the front because it's at the front of my brain and will continue to be so for the end of time. Sky, hello, also welcome in. Um, I, I, I've, I've mentioned this in previous streams, like kind of like. I've been trying to keep it low key, but I've been very excited about all of it. I have been in the process of interviewing for a new job and I didn't want to jinx it and I still kind of don't want to jinx it, but I have hit the point where they have specifically said they want to give me an offer. So I'm just like really excited. I'm at the last, I'm at the last point, which is just like potential like salary negotiation and references which i think i'm gonna i'm not worried about either of those it's just like it's i got to the i got to the last thing i'm super excited about the new the potential new job it's just it could it's gonna be hopefully a lot better than what i'm currently doing not that what i'm currently doing is bad um but it's very it's very exciting it's exciting for multiple reasons i can't i don't want to talk about too much of it just yet but i did want to share the news that i've made it to like the la i've like made it past all of the fucking hurdles and now it's literally just uh like sign a potential offer and cross the finish line i am like almost there i might be talking to someone on sunday about it uh it's a it seems like a really cool place i'm really excited um i can't tell you what specifically uh what's going on with the company because i have had to sign an nda among other things but like oh it's oh it's gonna be good thank you for the gift sub to subscribing subscribing makes me moist uh that is a that is a good it is a good fact to know uh subscribing makes me moist as well many things make me moist but you know what we're gonna we're gonna kick subscribing up into that list as well confirmed ah! Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I'm just fucking I'm over the I'm over the fucking moon today as I wanted a change I wanted an IRL change like this for a while now and it's finally happening and like worst case scenario Even if this doesn't pan out for a reason or like they rescind the offer or I decide in the end It's not what I want. It's just like it's given me so much energy looking for something new talking to other people Getting over the anxiety of interviews and at, like landing myself in this position right now it's just it feels so good i must i am must becoming a small professional look at me go um so i don't know what this energy is gonna mean for my gameplay not gonna lie i could just throw my lp out the window but i'm in such a good mood that i don't think anything is gonna tilt me uh i say that and i will stick by it so you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna just gonna i'm just gonna jump into a fucking game and i'm going to have a good time we are literally just casting units for the fun of it. We're here to have some fun. I'm so fucking happy. I don't care about your ribbon. How many blades of the, have as many blades as the exile as you fucking want. I'm here because I'm here to have a good time. Me, me, beget, 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 me beget is their name. I have decided. <laughs> I'm sure it's wrong, but I have made a choice. Ah. <sighs> Anyway, that's that's all that's all my news. That's all of the manic energy that is gonna fill the rest of my evening. And you bet I'm getting fucking zooted later to celebrate. Anyway, I still have to, of course, you know, close on the offer and all of that shit, which I will definitely be like yelling about if it happens. Oh, but that's that. That's that. Now I return to having apparently a shitload of two drops. Not the worst thing to have a two drop. They have a ch uh, yeah, all right, have a Durand. Every work demands a piece of ourselves. Every work. I have a broad wingus. I think I have a broad wingus. It's a zero four. That is a three four. Yeah. That's what I fucking thought. Okay. Yep, we're just gonna keep passing. We're just gonna keep passing. 
they have a fragment. That's okay. That's irrelevant. Jade Dragon, hello and welcome in. Stop terrorizing me. Uh, I will not. I will be. I will be unafraid of your numbers for a second, because even numbers right now cannot shake, cannot shake the confidence of my mentality. It will a little bit, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, no, that, they have that. That's fine, I guess. I guess that's fine. That's that's, that's fine. It's it's fine and dandy, McMandy. It's a dandy McMandy pants. Look, it's a tutu now. I have reverted one of the nerfs. I have taken out one whole stat. It's incredible. Uh, we have concerted. We have sharp sight. We don't have a Scythria. We got a bird. Uh, I would like to McSwingus. I think I would just like to do a McSwingus. Yeah, McSwingus looks okay. Bard. Bard, bard. Bard, bard. Uh, what is my master of the bard, bard? Ah, we're actually getting there. We've killed a Riven. That feels good. I like the Riven murder. It seems fine. Um, yep. Can I schmookle anything? Do I want to schmookle something? Uh, Jarvan is out next turn. Do they scout with the Jarvan? They don't. Uh, let's see, Noxus, Demacia. They have a strike. Potentially. They can single combat to undo some of the work that I am potentially about to try to do. Should I have cast it? We have the Scythria. That, I mean, all of it's going to be able to block Fearsome, of course. There's two whole chimes. One on the Fleet Feather, one on the Scythria. If they have the Jarvan, he comes out of the womb now. Just a nice plop. Ooh! Oh, no scout. Why no scout? Why you no scout? I know Jarvan at least, but why you no scout? Uh, 5-3 to 5-2. Five, five, we have the Vanguard Redeemer. We have the Fleet Feather. They don't have any board wipes. They don't have any board wipes. Yeah, that's a bit better. Bardus is doing things. Sir, the There's a good. Raven. Maybe a Rally. They could have still gotten in three attacks, though, right? We turn the tide of There's the Poppy, finally. There's a Valor. Oh, it looks like it is. It looks like it is going to be another swing. Mm-hmm. Right? Unless I just cast the Valor to try and fake me out. To, to, to bluff the Aegis. Uh, I don't have a counter spell, so if that is Aegis, it goes. That is a Cataclysm. Uh, you have exactly one mana. Uh, there's a Riven to strike, but we also have Challenger. They have one, which is tough, or a Blades... I don't know if I'm running fucking Blades Edge of all things. I can't get Fearsome off of anything, but I can get rid of it. Yeah, I can just get rid of that. Can Sharp Sight? Uh, save the Concerted. Uh, that is... I mean, I kind of want to hold on to the Esmus. But this does mean I, don't, I can hold the spell for something more valuable. The scout attack rallies. Oh, you're correct on that. Um, right, because I forgot about how Cataclysm works. <laughs> uh, we still got blockers, though, and there's still no Jarvan to be worried about. I can't block the Ribbon to kill it now, but I can kill a bunch of other things. That's fine. I mean, it's annoying, but it'll live. Yeah, kind of. Now I kind of wish I had concerted strike, committed the concerted strike, because then it wouldn't have been a free attack with the scout. Sure. I want to keep the challenger. Poppy doesn't have any chimes, though, so she's actually not going to buff anything, per se. This is only two damage. You would test my steel. Seven one. Two challengers remain. Oh, I can buff the other thing to take the ribbon, though. I can buff the three three. Okay. 
So they have six here. Seven, rather, sorry. That all went on the poppy. Never mind. I'm a god. That's perfect. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, poppy. Um. Not that. This. We still have concerted open. That's currently holding everything except this Burbo, which is fine. Murder that Burbo. Just kill it in cold blood. Doing that. Getting a free attack with uh, nothing. Uh, yeah, with pretty much nothing. Because they can't. Whirling death or anything. Only other option is if they have a concerted strike, but literally anything kills that. The greater, good. the greater good. Fuck you, dude. You are just <laughs> sad about the rocks in your boots, which is a fair complaint, to be honest. You gonna use that midnight raid? You wanna do a cast? You wanna do a cast? I disagree. Why do I have to restock? The poppy's just kind of chilling. Can I tank that? Lock it with the 5-2, hold that open. We can cast another 2-2. Two, two. All right, let's get to work. Okay. So they're using the Great Horn for the rallies. I don't think I care too much anyway. So if they have a Jarvan, it will go for this now. And a long path to get you. Which is a seven eight. We must all do our duty. There's a vanguard. It becomes a uh, five five. So they're gonna try and take not the poppy. Okay, and no, yeah, no Jarvan either. All right. So the units remain. There's one other thing remaining. This is fine. Yeah, because that can't block through some either. Um, that's a beard. Uh, hello! What are- what's up? Uh, buff... a boof a befo? buff a boof a buff I don't have any overwhelm. That does become an 8-5. I don't have any of the rallies. I need an Aegis or the Relentless Pursuit that's in here, and I don't have it, unfortunately. Uh, currently down to 7. We're holding the 7-6. They get a blade thingy from that. I kind of want to hold on to the poppy now. Um, I just hope that I find a rally. Because I want her to do the impact stuff. Blade's Edge there. Bird and Durand, I guess. So Riven is close. Riven is close. Which is, I think, f fine. I will at, I'm at 10. Let's see. This is the selfiest thing I currently have. It's going to get a little bit of overwhelm. Not too much, though. Down to seven. Uh, there's a the fucking one of three. Okay. Do they have the third one? I killed the two one, and the Riven saw one attack? Okay. One round start, rather. Mm hmm. Ah, uh, they waited for the concerted correctly. Dang it! Uh, doesn't have scout though, at least, which is good news. Down to four. Fuck it. I need a rally. I need a rally. Please give me a rally. Stop doing that with the ribbon. That's a fleet feather tracker. That is not a fucking rally. <laughs> Dang it! Dang it, it's not a rally. Uh, I mean, it kills stuff, at least. Uh, the small Esmus will get buffed again for the poppy on swing. Hi, everyone. How's it going? What's doing? There's a quick attack. Do you not want to buff the power of the rip? Can you not buff the power of the ribbon? Hopefully that's not what I think it is. Hopefully that's not a plus two. That's the first blade. You still don't have any over extra overwhelm, which is great. No, you do. You do, unfortunately. 
You unfortunately do, which I think is in the, it's barely enough. Yeah, it's just barely enough. Damn it! All right. Uh, yeah, because it's gonna be negative two regardless. Can I get a Shen? Yeah, we can get a Shen at least. Uh, would have liked to concerted strike over a rally there. Uh, well, it depends on what order they cast things. I think they probably would have gone with the Rune Reaver though. Um, but then I, we, still, we still have had the attack token, regardless. Because I think I might, if I, if I had top decked a rally, I could have cast it before they could have filled their board with everything. Because they still need an action to cast Reforger, right? So I wouldn't have been able to swing. And also would have leveled the Poppy. I should have held Concerted. That was dumb as rocks. That was dumb as rocks, and I think I could have also saved a little bit by Concerted, concerted striking the Great Horn Companion. I think I shouldn't have just taken that. I think I should have killed it. I think that might have given me another turn to breathe. Because uh, the Esmas survived, but I didn't like that attack at all. Concerned about killing Riven? I mean, sure. But I had... I don't know. At that point, I was just kind of like, well... I also... They're just at fucking 7 HP. I should just be able to punch through the Demacia. On winning than surviving. I mean, the thing about Demacia that I've had to adjust to is like, it doesn't, it doesn't matter what HP you're at, if your units are attacking. <laughs> it's completely irrelevant of where your HP, what your HP is doing, if you can just swing for lethal. Uh, which is not how I like to play mid range a lot of the time. So there's that also. Uh, what the fuck are you doing? I don't know, but I have a four three, so I'm gonna use it. Uh, I had a lot of chimes. This is good. I have Fleet Feather Esmus, I think, into a protege. That seems fine. That can block things. Um, sounds like a red player. Ugh. Ugh. I will never become a true red player. I don't think I can do that. Uh, we are at least getting a poke here, though. What is it? Bard Yumi? I guess if you, I mean, if you buff an attach unit, it's good. Uh, but if the attached unit goes in hand, it just seems to counter all of the chimes. Though I said that about Ari Bard, and I was fucking wrong about that. Alpha's a resource. Um, rather be a red player than a mono blue. You know, that is extraordinarily fair. <laughs> that is extremely fair. <laughs> they're gonna prank me? I guess they're gonna prank me. Who runs prank? Is this a good prank deck? Can I run more hand hate myself? Uh, discover the skip to summary button on the weekly vault. It's amazing. It is uh, kind of incredible. Um, I have another challenger is the thing, so I fine, whatever. You're letting me cast Esmus at least, which is fun and exciting. Let them get that prank. I can kill that next turn. I think I can survive a prank, right? Um, Shime. Ooh, yeah, well, nothing else is Challenger anymore, unfortunately. Uh, this is a 3-5, though. So they can prank the Sharp Sight. I hope they don't. I hope they see the Scythria. Uh, you can see the Scythria, that's fine. I don't want you to make her 8 mana, but you can still see it. That's okay. What are you doing? What are you doing? I don't know what you're doing, but that was fine for me. That was fine for me. <laughs> you're a blue player. <laughs> Someone on the LOR team joked that the skip summary was the most important update ever. They weren't lying. Yo, it's just so much effort. It's so much effort when it's not there. <laughs> you have to think about stuff. They're gonna go for the Aegis, right? Yeah, they absolutely fucking go for Aegis, which is fine. Um, I can still almost kill everything that the fucking Yumi looks at. Or just go around it in a good fashion. Um, I think we could probably just take chickens. I can cast chickens. Yeah, chickens are castable. And then, of course, I also just have the Scythria and a six mana rally. I can just rally. Yada, yada, yada. You have a Kato. I don't care. You want to know why it's funny that you have a Kato? <laughs> because I can fucking delete it, right? Yeah, I think I can just fucking delete it in an open swing and then rally 
and swing again. And we gotta surrender. Oh, I didn't know how to play advice on how to play blue dice for a beginner. Channel your inner entitled asshole and choose when to say no. <laughs> I like the in the inner asshole description of what it is. That's kind of great. That's kind of amazing. Uh, so this is see this is where the fucking Teferi Turbo Fog went wrong. Uh, they they were just saying no too much. They became Karen. You have to balance it so you're not a Karen. It's some deep. I'm gonna go deep. We're gonna go deep. I don't want to go deep. Can I take that back? I need poppy. Ah, uh, what's your mouth, guys? Twenty. Ah, uh, who? Habada huba habada huba habadu habada huba da habadu no. All right, maybe it was too risky keeping the ages. Never mind. I have the poppy. I have the rally. I'm gonna be happy. Hypothetically, hypothetically, I'll be happy in a few turns. Like to needle your opponent to death. I also have Bard. That's unfortunately less important right now. Teferi, Time Reveler, and Teferi, Hero of Dominaria. Love to say no. Cyclone Rips loves to say no. Uh, wilderness Reclamation is like the really creative no. It's like the no where you're like, I guess, I guess you could do that, but I also, I wanted things too. Your opponent hoping to get away from them. It's about letting them see potential and thus being like, ah, fuck that noise. Fuck that noise in particular. I have a Petra Sweet and a Poppy. I don't want you to have a vengeance. Please don't vengeance my girl. She's not really, I mean, she's not exactly my girl. She's an old eldritch being who uh, is looking for a, a, a hero that she is, in fact. Um, so that's fun and exciting. Pop it time! That's f f f removal mana, we're gonna go. I only learned that from Blue. Somewhere. You can tell I'm an Esper player. Ooh, Esper. Those are some fun, those are some fun colors. Um. I don't have anything to do about that, but I can take a score. I can take a lifesteal. I can deal a damage. No Yay, everyone's buff. Okay, so there's a toss and a heal. That's okay. They can. Does does, does toss? Okay, does toss still run? Does deep rather? Does deep still run things like black spear? Because I want to say I've seen some decks with it, but I honestly don't remember anymore. Oh, there's a go. Being a Grixis player and an Esper, Esper player. Grixis is angrier. <laughs> Grixis, Grixis has large animals. How much of a sadist you are. Also fair. I would like to do a rally. I would, I would really love a rally. You know why I would love a rally? Because it gives me value. You know, I don't know why it gives me value because we'll get the poppy to two of three and this is fantastic news. How much of a sadist and a masochist you are? You just gotta pick your lane. Pick your lane or mix it up if you really wanna be, do some fancy shit. That's a drain. That's okay. Wanna know why that's okay? Because I'm still gonna get buff and swole. I'm still getting swole. Also, you didn't actually murder it. That's, for some reason I thought you would and you didn't. So here we fucking go. Here we fucking go. Hey, we fucking go! We're going, we're doing it, we're going. Ooh, a nice attack next turn, thank you. Right? Cause we can just, we can just hook that mouth high real good. I can just, I can just take it real good with the two one and then I'm dealing lethal damage. This is exciting. I'm excited. I'm so sorry that I'm playing Demacia. I don't know who I've become. This is a lie. I've always been kind of an inner white player and I should just have embraced it earlier. If they have a vengeance, now's a good time to cast. Do you got that vengeance? Do you got removal? Do you have a pile of removal? That's 23 damage, haha. <laughs> um, they do? They do, they have to. It's, it's nine, it's nope. It's a nope. Goodbye and thank you. Goodbye, thank you. This is great. This is wonderful. Uh, fantastic. There's a, 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 a fast speed blocker. Not a burst speed blocker. A Johnny Man Embracer inner white player. 
we're not going to talk about the fact that I own that I own a fucking uh, Gideon card box because I do. And sometimes I look at that and I was like, wow, I was fucking brainwashed by mono white. I say as I cast Seraph over and over and over again forever. I was so deep in the hole. I have slightly crawled out of the hole, and now I want to play more more, uh, more black white colors. It's it's fine. We're doing good. It's fine. I've evolved. Uh, I've evolved a teensy little bit, a little bit. Mostly so I can. Uh, mostly so I can cast Doom Foretold, and then they lose all of their shit. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? It's ephemerals. It's ephemerals. It's so cute. Gideon was a good man. Uh, Mono White has balance and land tax. Symmetric effects are fair because it applies to everyone. You don't get things, I don't get things, but I have ways around not getting things. It's fucking A plus, it's what it is. I have some chimes. I'm gonna cast some chimes. You have horses. I don't know how well my, my chimes are gonna do versus a horse. Versus the horse situation happening here, but I can do my very best. Orzov now? Uh, Orzov, I mean, yeah, well, f mostly for Tesa and Alenda, can I just say? I simp for both. I simp for both Tesa and Alenda and also Kaya sometimes. They're all great. They're all, they're all fucking fantastic. Uh, that's the Soul Shepherd. No, thank you. No, thank you for the Soul Shepherd. We're just gonna swing. Uh, four hole damages. Um, sorry, someone came to the door as so I was look looking back. Plays eggs with balance. <laughs> a balanced egg is part of a good breakfast for anyone, really. Our food got here that fast? That was insanely fast. How did we get food that fast? We ordered food and now it's suddenly here and I am confuzzled as fuck. I'm just confuzzled as fuck. How did we- how did it arrive so soon? What is this? I should have cast the Duran first. I can tank the 4-2. What the fuck am I doing? Uh, well, I- I- oh, okay. I actually don't want to tank all of that, so. Oh, you got three threes! Every work demands a piece of ourselves. I'm gonna go with the fucking pops and hope to God. And hope to God is what I'm gonna do. I mean, they swing, right? They have to attack for the Hecarim. So, uh, they're going to. They're just waiting. People doing their job. I know, but it was just so quick. It, I just, I, my mind is blown. Technology is, is fantastic. <laughs> People are fantastic. Uh, that's just, that's just it. Favorite card is Ethereal Absolution and Elish Norn. This is true. Fucking two ethereal absolutions shuts anyone down. You want to know why? Because if I can't do things, you ca I can do things, but you can't do things. That's the majesty. That's the majesty of it. I have a paper Elish Lorne. I'm very proud of it. Uh, Glass got it for me. It was very good. It was it was very nice and good. I would like to do a swingus. I have a swingus. How you feeling about the swingus? You got a block somewhere. Uh, and I can also hopefully block the hacker not the Hecarim, the Zed in a future turn. You don't have Hecarim on your next attack. They're just eating it all to face, hoping I don't have a rally, which to be fair, I don't. <laughs> to be fair, I have, I have, I lack a rally. So, uh, they are, they do have the advantage for that regard. Um, and insane pack luck. Uh, my luckiest pull ever was a first sliver, not gonna lie. That's that's the fanciest thing I've ever managed to uh, to dredge out of out of anything. Uh, is that can I? Is it safe? Is any of this safe? Can I just stop there and call it a day and go down to six and get their ephemerals out of the way? I'm gonna risk it. This might be wrong. Uh, Nietzsche said God was dead and we allegedly killed him. This is true. I should say, I honestly don't, I, okay, I, I, you, you guys have probably guessed this by now. I am a bit atheistic. I should also just say, stop saying God and Lord and things. I don't, I don't know why I'm invoking it for no reason. What is that? Is it a buff? Is it a, is it a stomp? Is it a, is it a, is it a, is it a boogly? It's a schmoogly boogly. 
Oh, you're killing the thingy. Uh, that is acceptable. That's acceptable. I don't love it, but it's acceptable. So they lose... They lose everything except that. And the 3-1, of course. I want to hold on to the Esmus. They don't have any more. I keep forgetting about Deathmark as a card, I should remember. Poppy's probably dead. Yeah, I keep forgetting about uh, the Deathmark, to be honest. She would have been dead regardless, though, which is, a, I, I guess, a small comfort. Uh, though that doesn't have Fearsome. They do have removal here, but if they cast removal, that's the only thing they can do, quite literally. So it's kind of a net zero, honestly. Uh, yeah, it's it worked. I should have. I think I could have also just swung because I had challenger and buffs in hand. Uh, but yeah, I didn't think that through as much as I should have. I was just like, I want it out, but I should have used my brain. Uh, I should have synced out the Zed for the Zed level up. Oh yeah, they could have gotten two shades to strike, so just move it around. I don't know what they were planning there, but we got it anyway. An atheist probably said the terms of God as a figure of speech for expressions of frustration. At uh, Car Kingdom, all of our modern Horizons cards went up in value like a lot. Oh, that's good news. One day, if I'm ever at a con and you guys want to find me, I we do have a nice card binder of things. Okay, that's a that's a that's fancy. Yeah, we have an Urza, and we're we can. We have multiple Urzas, and the, apparently the value of Urza has shot up to like 58 bucks. I'm sure. Uh, what? <laughs> we have a bunch of things. We were in a really deep magic phase for a while, and then I kind of branched off and did Runeterra, and now Glass is in the Yu-Gi-Oh hole at the moment. And as far as I know, is not leaving the Yu-Gi-Oh hole anytime soon. Uh, Bard Renek... What the fuck is Bard Renekton? I don't know, but I, uh, I am concerned. I, I, I'm concerned. I got the, I got the fucking rally back. I was worried about mulliganing that, but at least I have it back now. Um... I have never needed to go to con, sad sadly. I mean, here's the thing. After watching, uh, after watching, what you gonna call it? Um, the fucking fiasco that was, what is it, Anime Expo this year? I'm just kind of afraid. I'm just kind of worried about going because, man, there's so many people in a small space. So many people in a small space, and just like. Uh, it's just too much. I think I would get overwhelmed pretty fast. This is the Yep Croc. Oh, this is Yep Croc! The Yep Croc has, has, uh, has, I have heard of it, but I have not, excuse me, I have not actually watched, I have not seen anyone play it thus far. Okay, punch it, smack it. Good punching, good smacking. I'm gonna cast the bird and the pops. Pops is a 3 4, actually. I so know where uh, it's called Frankenstein. It's basically a swap me for anything and everything comic card games and anime. Oh, it's kind of cool that that exists, honestly. Uh, there's there's a Renukton. Um, I think I might just build board presence and then go into the Redeemer, into the Poppy. Remember the fallen. As a protege. So I can pull Renekton currently. Uh, Shurima has a few health buffs that I do need to think about, I think. All right, team. But otherwise, she should time. become a 4 5 and buff everything else on the board. Expo anime expert regulations have always been light. Sand that's just kind of. That just seems kind of wrong, you know? <laughs> Oh god, I need to kill- I need to kill the Renek, obviously. I need, obviously need to kill the Renek. I can barely not kill this. Uh, which is honestly fine. I'm just gonna go here. Renek and dev, Ruin Runner dying soon. Or at least blockably dying, you know? Um. Then there's another go to Comic Con and Anime Expo, because I'm going to a con, they don't have to play, pay or pay con prices. Yo, if you don't have to pay the prices at a con, fantastic. They're fucking steep as shit, is what they are. Um, 
My bar is fancier. Take that, bitch. I also have a swing with the, uh, what you calls it, in a sack with the poppy in a moment, which is good and great. Yeah, this is fine. Or at least I imagine it's fine. I'm not taking lethal damage regardless. Oh, you want that for the, whatchamacallit, for the, for the ruin, for the ruin runner. Okay, that's acceptable to be honest. I did, I do lose the rally, but at least I have another response next turn. Every work demands a piece of ourselves. Okay. I just seeker. So they have an opportunity to cast the 5 2 now. Um, never got a con lesson learned. <laughs> oh no. Uh, 2 3 4. I think that works. I've come a long way from the flying stone so 15 of 20. We can bump it up a little bit with this. And then also. Well, we're not going to buff on swing, unfortunately, because we did lose the poppy. But I ha can grant this challenger and do all the shit. Um. Parking went up $90 for a few hours. Okay, and I thought New York prices were bad. And I thought paying for like a garage in a city was fucking nickel and diming me out the ass. $90? I could buy a hotel room for like a day with that. You don't have any more mana. I don't have any challenger though, other than those two. Dang it, only one. I was hoping for more than that, because I can't kill anything super impactful now. We will not hesitate. What is their barter? 16 to 20, 18 to 20. If mine hits a single chime, we're going to be better off anyway. Okay. I need a chime, I need a chime, I need a chime! You can get two or three night motel stays for 90. Honestly, yeah. So my bard levels... Doesn't their bard level also? Is it one short? Wait, I thought they hit chimes this draw. Oh, well, whatever. Um, so I can cast a swift wing with the challengey boys and choose some challengey boys and then swingus? I think a swingus is good. So we can block. Oh, we can't block that because they will pull it with something else. They can almost buff a Bardus, but not super well. Yeah, Poppy, they go, we go faster than they do. Yeah. Generally speaking, yeah. Good, it's a 5-5. Five, five. That's the bar, just get him buff. That's the thing I'm gonna ignore. Can I ignore? I can't ignore. I cannot super ignore, to be fair. Let's do... What do I want to put in front of that? Can I put this in front of that instead? Ooh, they have counter spells, right? Can I just cast the chickens and then let the turn roll over? Because they can certainly counter a spell here, but I'm debating if this and then to swing is better because then I'll have three challengers. I like, I think I like chickens. I'm going to try chickens. Go wide with chicken. Runa's path is okay. Yay, chicken. No bird, please. Dang it, Birdus. Absolver and Relentless. Apparently not that turn. All right. So their bard is almost there. That's fine. So my bard goes. We have the big fat five fives. We have this going. We can pull the Bardus. We can pull the one, the the uh, the two, two the two one into the one one into a swing. -ous. And then we have a rally. And then we have a rally. 
Yeah, this looks okay, I think. Um, let us in bowl at half a bottle of ranch. You're welcome. Ah, uh, that sounds very easy, which I appreciate. Easy, the easier, the better. Um, that's rude. That's just rude. I have two rallies, so that if they counter one, hopefully they can't counter the other one. Right? I literally just need one attack here. I literally just need one whole attack. It doesn't matter which it is. I just need one. That's a right of fucking negation. Do you have two, bitch? Bitch, do you have two of them? Probably. They probably have two of them. <laughs> are they stockpiling the way I'm stockpiling my rallies? They are! They are stockpiling! All right, fine. All right, fine. At least you're out of fucking cars. Now I know that both two of the things in your hand were counter spells. I still have concerted, and now they can't counter it, probably. So they'd also need, like, Renekton and a thing to cast, because they only have two cards in hand. So I think this is in the bag. I also have another fucking rally. <laughs> Holy shit. Holy shit. Yes. Well, okay, that's annoying. That, to be fair, is pretty annoying. They can't stop concerted. Well, they can with that. I think I'm just gonna bury her up. I think I'm bury her up. Some weirdos run three right. I'm unsurprised by this information. It would make sense, you know. I don't wanna be trampled. I don't... I want no trample, though. I want no trample, though. Absolver? Quicksand. Uh, yeah, that's exactly enough. Fuck it! Uh, hopefully that, that card is the third right. It was just another quicksand, which means we have the win, because I have eight damage on board. And they are literally out of fucking resources. Goodbye! We beat the Yep Croc! I didn't even know that was Yep Croc until this game, but we beat it anyway. Hooray. Getting wins. Getting fucking wins. I'm, I'm plateau to plateau again. We're in the happy place. We're in the happy place. I'm learning how to pilot to the poppy. Hi, roll is fuck. Big Daddy coming in with the Gin Annie. Uh, we like the pops. We like the Duran. I don't know if I want to keep a bard. I need to go fast. At least I have a bird. I have a bird and a... Ooh, do I want the challenger, though? It depends on if they have the turn one Annie. Do they have the turn one Annie? Yes! The answer is always going to be yes! Your giggle. Ma'am, is infuriating. Just throwing it out there, you have a very infuriating giggle. Apologies for this information. Uh, I will cast an Ismoosh. I have two bird? I do have two bird! It is a two bird situation! One of the few card games where the best cards are commons. They're really fucking useful, yeah. Uh, I mean, I couldn't have stopped that anyway, so whatever. I probably, I'd probably die to burn now. I'd probably die to burn now. Um, swords to plowshares was common. <laughs> uh, Thick Flamingo, hello. What do they say? Can let me know. Two birds in the hand are worth one stone in the bush. Look at all of the things! Oh lord. Oh lord, and they have a gin. Oh god. The gin. Oh, not the ginny. All right, let's get to work. I will cast my chimes, motherfucker. No, I will not do anything of the sort. I will instead die to Annie and the Tibok. Oh no. All right, to be fair, I've been on a hot streak, so it's okay. We can drop a few games in the name of Annie being a fucking annoying person. All right, we don't play around removal. We just fucking go. We just go. We just do things. I'm gonna try and do things here. Turn three, level up. <laughs> We're fine, everything is fine. 
No! Why do you have to be like this? Why must you be this? Veteran support organization of Plowshare. Lord, Lord, the damage hit so quickly. It, uh, it real, it really fucking did, you know? It really fucking did. You like spiders? No, I hate spiders, actually. I really despise them. Kythera, you can go somewhere else, is what you can do. I want my pops! Give me my pops back! That's a bard. Unfortunately, no chimes. Hi! How's things today? How are you today? At least you're so you're so early on everything else. You actually cannot cast. I'm so dead. Uh, you actually can't cast much else, huh? You can't cast the, the timbers that you want to cast. Isn't that isn't that magnificent? You don't have quick attack, right? No, you just you just do things. Burn the school down. I have to go somewhere. <laughs> Hi. Uh, I mean, you do you do hit me in the face hole. That is of note. You're also gonna see one, two, three skills. If I'm not misunderstanding, I think it's three. Come on. Do you have a flock or no? This is your fucking choice. You can't level him. So it's now your decision of what you want to do here for sure. Um... Oh, but the fourth Lotus Sprite. Uh, it doesn't matter anymore. It it sadly it sadly does not particularly matter. Good lord. Oh, good a uh, good lord. It's terrible. Aggro doing aggro things. That's a hand. That is a hand. That is a good fucking hand. Is what it is. Uh, not as good as the bard noises. Not as not as not as high quality as the bard noise. Inferior noises is what's happening over there. Do I have anything? No. I, I, arguably, I have nothing. <laughs> arguably, I have jack shit <laughs> to do here. <laughs> I can grant fearsome, but what, I mean, they're at twenty. I'm dead. I'm just dead. That fucking, that fucking turn with the le the level is just, ow, my life total. My life total is gone. It has, it has been deceased. I am also soon to be deceased. Stop stunning my shit, you motherfucker. I can maybe take that and then the poppy dies to Jin. Yeah, this is, for, this is, this is just a forsaken run. This is incredibly forsaken. <laughs> and they still have flocks and stuff, don't they? Uh, it's just, just relentless. It really is. It really is. I know people were complaining about Jin for a little bit, but also at the same time, like, he's still really good. The skill thing is still really fucking good. And now I die to a flock? No, I just die to the Tibalk. At least I can die in style. At least I can go out to the Tibalk and not the other things because it's well i mean to be fair i'm also just taking the whole five damage on swing and the overwhelm i do have a lovely blocker for said overwhelm though so that's a thing this is all these are all a potentially recoverable question marks nope it's not anyway where is the nine coming from? One, four. Oh, right, because it's buffed by Tibulk. I forgot. I completely forgot about the plus one from the Tibulk. I was just like, this is fine. No, it's not. <laughs> Everything that does one just hurts more now. I did not include... I failed to include the Tibulk in my calculations. <sighs> oh, burn. Oh, burn. How you have changed... How you, how you have embraced the sociopath, which is right. He is worth embracing. He does a lot of damage. He does a lot of damage. Too much damage. Uh, let's see what let's see what the next game is. Someone gave you some seven crep murties today, and you're pretty stoked about it. Wait, wait, crep murfles? What are those? I have no idea. <laughs> I'm glad you are stoked about it, though. I just have no context. Um, what's going on? 
<laughs> I'm glad you're dying. If I can be context free, at least I can make someone else have a good time. I'm gonna cast this. Crepe myrtles? Wait, crepe myrtles? Not crepe myrties? <laughs> Whatever I said the first time. <laughs> They're beautiful plants. Oh, okay. I'm a moron on the regular, so congratulations on the plants. I recently, someone at work uh, left for a new job as well, actually. And uh, I had, she gave us all clippings from a, uh, one of our like head and chicks plants. It was kind of great. I liked it a lot. It's a very good plant. I will cast more thingamajigglies. I will cast more thingamajigglies. Uh, let's do a bird as well. Let's just keep pushing. Are right, they're doing winning light, so they want to build. They want to build things. It, she was pretty great, honestly. Um, she also offered us um, clippings from this big fern thing that she had, uh, but. Um, what you call it? Uh, I ended up not taking any of that. Maybe I should have, but like, um, uh, I just didn't think I would be able to keep it alive as well because I wasn't sure about what light it wanted. But dozens of natives to plant in your yard. Oh, that's super cool. Native gardens are amazing. They're so cool. Um. Guess the other one in front of them. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's just, let's just, I'm gonna ignore that for a second and just have a 4 6. And grace, beauty in the plane. You think you have Challenger? I have better fucking Challenger, bitch. I can get in six damage. We gotta fucking surrender. I was kind of early so to surrender, but I, I guess it was, I, I mean, to be fair, thinking about it from the opposite perspective, I wouldn't have wanted to deal with the burbs. There were too many borbos. Uh, I have a little succulent collection in the kitchen, um, and uh, I found out that some of them have a fungus on it. So I just got from Amazon today some stuff that's supposed to kill the fungus, which I'm hoping will help help them out they're they're not wilting or anything they just have they just have it growing on them and i want to get it off obviously and i want it to not spread as calista tf hi how are you today how's things slayer 486 i have the rally now i need the pops uh that is a sharp sight that's okay i'm gonna cast my things I have lovely things. Uh, ooh, Durand. I want Durand or the Ismus. I think I like the Ismus here. Because we don't have Petrocyte in hand. Or on the board incoming. Uh, yep, they do that. That's fine. Or, it's not exactly what I wanted, but uh, whatever. I'm undying. I can very cheerfully ignore that for a little while. Very, very cheerfully ignore undying for a little bit. I mean, once they have slay effects, not so much. They could have a ravenous butcher, I guess, or something like that. But for now, I wait and chill and uh, think about my units. Think about my buff boys. Am I about to have a 3-5, potentially? With the Esmus and the Van the Vanguard, what the not the Durand? I'm fucking Vanguard Redeemer is this card. This is a Durand sculptor. Uh, by the way, her hair looks great. I like that white streak in it. it. Looks she looks good. One day I'll be able to braid my hair that effectively, but not not yet, not yet. Ponytails are where it's at. I'm gonna take a spooter. Ah, uh, we buffed Vanguard Redeemer. That's okay. I'm just gonna cast the Protégé. The Laurent. Laurent. Uh, hi. How's it going? Wait, Yui. Yui, are you? I'm sorry if I am completely wrong on this. Are you Yui exists? Uh, either way, hello. How's it going? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I got it. How are you doing? It's been a little while. What's up? Um. So I can buff it to a 3-6. I can't, I mean, I can, I can take, I can take Draconis. 
Yeah, I can just take Draconis. I think taking Draconis is fine. Change the name. Makes sense, honestly. Uh, do you do you. All right, I got some damage. I got some fucking damage. Now I have a, a, a now I'm able to block the the the, the, the dragon, the the big the big chunkity, the slay thing that gets HP that sucks for me personally. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm gonna just cast the protege. Uh, let's do that. Uh, what now? Oh. Sure, I guess. I have two whole sharp sights. I can't save the Esmus, unfortunately. I'll just save this for now. Uh, we still have the 3-1 to be able to take, so they can drain something, but then we also have another sharp sight. This seems okay, actually, now. It's a 4-4 anyway. There's a bird. Um, they have five mana. Still no champs. Still no sign of a champ. Apparently strongest is the 4-5. If they cast a TF into something, we're fine. I mean, we still have the protege. It's still gonna survive. I can take that next turn, hopefully. Just kill the Callista and the dragon if possible. Mostly dragon, though. <laughs> dragon is a bit of a priority. I have a Pops. Yeah, let's go with Pops. I, just know the heroes around here I was gonna somewhere. go with this, but let's go with the Pops. She's important. She is key to this whole operation. Um... No. No, thank you. There's a glimpse beyond. So they're trying to find some draw. That makes sense. I want dragon. I want to draconis. That's a 3-5 and a 3-2. I might end up running into a level Callista here if I'm not careful, which... Uh, yeah, to be honest, I think I'm just gonna run into a level Callista, which kind of sucks, though I can take this instead. Yeah, I like that better. So they can't black spear anything. We take the champ out of the way. Yeah, uh, unfortunately, I will trade a Poppy here, but otherwise, we're getting rid of one of the main, one of the engines here. Rockterra dude, hello, welcome back. How's it going? Hope you're doing all right today. Sorry, pops. My Duran's just chilling still. <laughs> it's still just hanging out. Yeah, maybe I do it. Maybe I do end up regretting that uh, the sharp sight. But we'll see here. I think the sharp sight might have been a miscast, but we'll see how much I actually end up paying for it. Um, Never lost a fair game. I'm just refilling. I need Challenger. You kill him in the swing, which is great. We have a rally, which I can cast eventually too. Everything is chill today. That's good. That's a nice way to start the weekend. I have found all of my protégés forever. Uh, yeah, I yeah, you take that. That's okay. It can't block. I have sad. I have sadness in my soul, <laughs> but that's fine. I can cast both of these actually. They want. They can't. They can't. Yeah, they can't attack with much else. They want the quick attack. That makes a little more sense. We're just taking five. Let's do this first. And grace. Beauty, in the blade. Beauty in the blade. Yes, good. That's another glimpse beyond. They get more card value. Bard? What are you at? 19 to 20. You just need one chime. Ooh, let's hope the top decks are good. That's a crumble. The top decks will be fine anyway. Because I can still take that out of the out of the equation. Yeah, I can still just take the TF straight up. Get in four damage. We'll bring them down to 11. Uh, technically, I, I do go faster with the poppy, but we lost that. I do have a rally at least. For our 
Okay. I guess they could remove the 3-5 if they so felt like it. So far, taken out more of their champs and they have taken out... Well, actually, no, it's equal because they killed a Poppy uh, and a Bard. And now I'm trying to kill the Callista and now the TF. So actually pretty symmetric here. Now I just need to decide if they want to keep it or not. I can also rally, I can cast a Duran and the Protégé into a swing, which, considering they only have Undying for the moment, and they might tap down and do some other stuff, puts me in an okay position. I don't know if I'll have lethal this turn, but... I can approach it rapidly. <laughs> they probably do something here. They don't have any big, big things. That definitely does not count as, as, as big of a thing to n negate my potential lethal get bloody get paid a little reinforcement at the scene bard is leveled that doesn't do anything uh plus one plus one on a rally uh now the problem is that they do have blockers what's the best buff here so i can make a three five or 3-6, rather. Uh, nothing is getting buffed uh, just regularly. If I buff this to a 4-4, four, four, I can take a dragon. Um, take the dragon and something else. I think I should push here. I just don't have the champ, unfortunately. Um, I could also just go with the 4-4 four, four with Challenger and the 4-5, and then just take the 2-3 with the 2-5 or something. Oh, actually, I need to kill... The Max Weather is actually the biggest problem right now. They block the 2 Three with the two two. That's not great. I can, I think, just do this. We hold on to a fearsome blocker in the four five. Uh, that's out of the way. Undying comes back. We can just chump that with the two two or the two one. I think the units really did. Otherwise, I would have been able to close it out. Unfortunately. Unfortunately for me, I'm not drawing my champs. Mostly you. Mostly you, Poppy. I need you. Come on now. Oh, Undying takes the 4-5. Never mind. So I actually don't have a Fearsome Blocker for the 4-2. Um... Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're gonna moron. You let that happen. Why that? Just, just why that also? What's happening here? Down to three. Probably should block something. I don't want to. I don't want to block something because I'm extraordinarily reliant on my top decks right now. Without Poppy, your decks feel less optimal. They're significantly less optimal. Do they have atrocity? What's the probability of an atrocity? Because otherwise, I mean, Undying would be great if they just, again, hadn't had three units in a turn. <laughs> like, Mask Mother was fine. Oh, but the rest just sucked ass. It just sucked a lot of ass. Thank you for the single chime on my bright steel. I need it. I really fucking need it. I really desperately need it. Attacking with the prey showed dominance. Why do they have so many fucking crumbles? Why do they have so many crumbles? Because they do. They have a lot of... They have an unreasonable number of crumbles. Uh, and it's three units coming back, and it's exactly lethal between the two and the four power units. Uh, spe speaking of, actually, if they pass the turn back, they're gonna have another unit, right? Otherwise, I could technically try and give that tough, but now it's way too late. Now it's too late, because even if I remove a unit now... Well, no, I can still technically block. I need to- I need the range's resolve to get rid of something, because otherwise... No, it's still not guaranteed. it's actually not guaranteed lethal, because I can block the 4-2 now. So it's only 4 on the outsides. Also! Yeah, thank you for the deck code. Let me copy this in. 
Um, Formata made all the difference. Um, oh, but I forgot about undying because I am once again a moron. Uh, so that's fine. <laughs> we'll let it sit there. Oh, I have a deck request. Let me put it in here. July 8th. Um, that's fine. You know what? We'll stick in plat two. We'll bring in this deck. Image of a little Damas and Yordle in the deck. Where is it? Uh, I, 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 it's, I'm hiding it. It's my deepest shame. <laughs> um, it's, we're not going to talk about the poppy. We're not going to talk about the poppy. Uh, where is it? Oh, as in like, where the fuck was the poppy? Not, not, not the shame of playing Demacia. Um, uh, she died once and was like, I'm out. Fuck this shit. I'm out. And the most poppy way possible was just, I don't think my hammer can serve you today is I'm assuming what she would say to me. <laughs> uh, what am I removing? Um, I'm going to delete the, whatever that was. I'm sorry. It's Lorian. I'm going to import. We're going to look at this. We're going to uh, do it. This is UA. We're gonna look at the bard. We're gonna. Um, bard still gets bitches. Bishes. Bishes. Bishes, yes. Uh, let's see what's in here. We're looking at Bird, Esmus, Mystic, Retreat. Oh, God. Willow, Feisty, Tasty, Feisty, Feisty, Tay Folk. Ah, the Spoonerisms are back. Zed, Bard, Homecoming, Kinku, Cosmic, Binding, Tail, Cloak, and Meduli with a Dragon's Rage. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, that's amazing, actually. Um, don't have any way of granting Overwhelm, right? So it's just big chunk unit go pard. Um, and then we can recall Meduli for chimes. Uh, Maduli Recall, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I've gotten, I've gotten Maduli Recall before, but I'm never ever going to turn down an opportunity to do it. I'm gonna load up with the Chronosphere because I feel like something a little less chill than the D and D music. Though to be fair, it is the most chill, and it is the most amazing. When are they gonna give Bard a Pulse Fire skin? That's my real question here. No, no. No, 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 do not. I'm sorry, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna brave that and rank just yet. Just yet. We're gonna go into normals so that I can get a chance to cast a God Willow before I die. Enzo! Have I seen this player before? Or is that just a really common name? Am I going insane or have I seen them before? I honestly couldn't tell you. I wanna say I've seen Enzo before. I could be very wrong. I have the chime stack and I got that sweet, sweet chime synergy. Shiny bird. Shiny Esmus. You have control into a soul, I imagine. Two chimes. God damn. Whenever you hit more than one chime early, it's a fucking amazing feeling. It's an amazing feeling. I could recall a blighted ravine in a couple of turns. Though I suspect it's more like an avalanche, right? Two more chimes? What is my RNG Jesus? My RNG Jesus is going hard. It's going hard. Got a list of eons? Wording stones. Okay, fair enough. I was debating the recall. <laughs> I was debating the recall, but, but these are already getting kind of stacked because the Esmus has just been allowed to function. What will you have? Kindly Tavern Keeper. I'm gonna summon this. She's what big. And then I have Medules. Don't. Okay, no kill. Good. Do not kill. No kill. Just Meduli. No removal, just Meduli. I actually have the retreats and the homecomings and a Meduli in my hand. This is honestly fucking amazing. Let's go with an attack. I don't want to actually. Ooh, I actually don't want to kill them. I don't want to kill them. I have to be. I have to. I mean, I'm not gonna kill Soul, but I have to be a little cautious about that. So I want to be able to get value. They're already enlightened. This is fucking rigged. <laughs> Plant the chime, so if I just recall, right? So I just recall a follower, I get immediate Maduli back, which is fucking brilliant. Which is fucking brilliant. I'm getting the no! Oh, oh. 
the one time I've been able, the single one time I've been able to recall him a dealie with a matriarch on the board. They deny me my chimes. Rude is what that is. Rude. We're gonna try it again. We're gonna try it again. Me four, uh, four chimes in turn one and turn two. <laughs> yeah. What is that? No champion Noxus P and Z. Is this some kind of uh, tribeam deck that doesn't have champions, or is this just like burn? Is this just like Uber burn? <gasps> Their Raptus is going burn deck. Okay, I would imagine so. Um, but I was a little surprised by the not seeing the champs. You got the you got the Kate Ez colors. Where are your Kate and your Ezreal? The skateboard thingy. Wait, drop border? This isn't a drop order deck, is it? Cause that's no drop order is Sharima. Wait, that predict. Yeah, what? It's Kyrian Sump Worker. Oh, is it a duplicate Kyrian? Is it like iterative counterfeit Kyrian? Is that what it is? Probably. Uh, oh, some. Oh, Sump Worker. Oh, is it? Is it? Does it have a skateboard? I actually don't know if the big version has a skateboard. Does it have a skateboard? It has a, some kind of bike thing. I, I, you know, to be fair, I would have confused it also probably. <laughs> uh, also, by the way, 76 Nine Eagle, welcome to the chat in the stream. I hope you're enjoying your time here. Yeah, let's just duplicate the sumps. And then it does a transform. And it does a transform. Am I afraid of the transform? Yes, I am afraid of the transform is what is fundamentally what's going on. I am concerned. I am concerned. I do have lifesteal though. It pings one to all enemies. Yeah, I honestly think that's fine. I'm gonna be racing towards my own. I'm gonna be racing towards my own just buff in general. Um, I mean, no one really looks at this card super often, so I do not blame you. Purple. Five three should be good, unless they just have to like, get excited or something here. That's a time trick, so they're not finding removal; they're just looking for it. Kyrian Shadow Isles F flashbacks engage. Yo, I miss that. I miss Shadow Isles, Kyrian. What the fuck? That does sound terrifying, though. Um, I got Mama Duels. I'm gonna make this a six four with life steal. All right, we're gaining back all of our HP. This is fantastic. Currently, Feifo is just gonna keep me alive. It will take pings from the sump works, but it's fine, honestly. Um, Sultan stitches to awaken the blood. Grave physician, discarding for the draw. All right. I'm almost at Medules. Though if I cast Medules, I might just need Cosmic Binding. <laughs> I think I need a Cosmic Binding here to shut him down for at least a turn, and then I can start with my Baduli shenanigans. Because I can't stun in Medul, unfortunately. So they're just summoning some Poros. That's a nice blood for blood, though. To stun. I think a two and a stun, so they have only one swinging. Um, cosmic, probably the right, probably the right play. I think so. Yeah, just get chunk one. They have poros, but those aren't gonna kill me as fast as these guys are. I lose the three one. On open. That's okay. I still have a six three. Still have a six three. Poro, poro, poro. I have a six eight here. Another life steal unit. Okay. Zed, a chimeless, a chimeless Zed. Unfortunately, can I? I think I can just recall the next turn to be able to do stuff. I could also just cast another life steal into a Zed, because then they have to do something about the Zed. Though they have B and Z, 
So I'm imagining it also just gets fucking Mystic shot down. I mean, this whole point is Maduli, so I'm just gonna cast a Maduli. 64 is a pretty good number. More Poros. What did you discard there? Stress testing, okay. Yeah, that seems fine. They have to block. Giving me the lifesteal, good. I do lose it next turn, but then we have another one anyway. So I can die. I can die is what I can do. <laughs> I can also die to elusives. I can technically God Willow, but they're not going to give me a chance to cast the Tasty Fae Folk. So I need to rely on recall here. I think the homecoming is it. So we just take the Maduli back. It does lose its buffs, but that's okay. Hi, Kyrian. There's a Mystic Vortex. Four whole chimes. Hi! How's everyone doing today? I'm also technically not dead. <laughs> I'm also technically not dead. Down to seven? Ooh, do I actually wanna, do I wanna save? Actually, I could save the Lifesteal unit. I could save the Lifesteal unit from dying because I don't need the Maduli to be recalled now because I have other means of doing that. Um, and then I can just double cast the Fae Folk into the next attack. It's also not lethal on open because they're too damage short, but I don't want to set myself up for a Mystic or get excited to face. Um, can't get Aftershocked anymore. So that's that, I guess. I guess there's that. Uh, let's do a big Fae Folk. Looks like I'm ready. Bye bye. I could also just God Willow the Maduli to buff more stuff. Because they don't have rallies, right? They don't have rallies, no. I would also just cast a 4-3-Z. Fuck it, we're still playing the Maduli game. One hundred and twenty-eight. Some forks coming down. Really need the Fey Folk to heal me. I mean, it's gonna get to a point where the Sump Works are gonna actually be able to do enough damage that I do eat a bit of shit. But for now, I'm going to summon the big chunks. I'm gonna summon the big chunks. Uh, they probably run one or two Shun Pose. I forgot that they could do that with with Noxus. I was too busy thinking about other things. I was like, nah, I don't have, I don't have shit. They do have shit. They have a lot of shit. They have shit called Noxus just goes hard. Yeah, they can also just have buffs in Noxus, which is unfortunate. So these go, because they have to trade a sump work for them. So they're just letting the Poros do things, which is fine. I go up to um, a lot. I go up to 19, which is again... Uh, oh, these die now. Actually, these die now because they took the damage. Um, oh, they dropped to get excited, so they did have the burn in hand. Now all my units go away. Does the opponent take a Mana Fiora in a certain way? Oh, Mono Fiora. I mean, it's certainly Mono Champ. It's just uh, you're, the champs that they have are none, and it's just the same thing 40 bajillion times in a row. Yeah, my 254 chimes with no bard on the field don't do anything. Like, if I had Esmus, like, we'd be able to crawl back even, like, just a little bit. But I cannot. I only have one recall. <laughs> I only have one. I can do... I can take this back, and I put that back, and then I go down to negative four. Uh, fun to see Kyrian, though, a little bit. He dies because he can't copy it. At least he wants to get you to zero life. That is true. Very true. Woo! Blown out by the sump workers. All right, all right. We got to, like, I want to say, what was that? 500-ish chimes? No, it was, like, 200, but then I didn't get the last duplication. So, on to attempt three. Let's see how it goes. We did ash some actual climbing today. We're doing some actual decks. A dabbing penguin is running darkness, karma. See, Vygar goes in decks. I don't have much faith that that deck is going to do a whole lot, but they, see, Vygar can do other things. Uh, it's the deserter deck with 12 units total. Deserter deck with 12 units? Uh, oh my god, it's Shadow Braum! Hi! I'll use regular Braum. 
Regular Brahm is good. Okay. I can swing this with the 2 1. Was there an earlier discussion about Vigar being a Senna Sim? Uh, no, just some earlier discussion uh, somewhere about Vigar not going in anything except darkness. But here it is in, uh, in not Senna darkness, in Karma something something. My Nexus is gone real quick. <laughs> Kinda darkness. Maybe switch some Fae Folk with the Ninja Lifesteal guy. Oh, the the thing that the thing that gets big, the thing <laughs> the thing, uh, what you call it? Navori. I can't remember his name now. Pinku Life Blade. That's it. The Life Blade. Yes, Pinku Life Blade. I was like Navori something. No, it's not actually Navori. I have all of my medulies. That's too many medulies. Objectively, it's too many because I don't have mana for them. Thank you for showing up, though. Thank you for coming into work today. I approve. I, I I significantly approve of this. I've got some fucking Zeds, though. Okay, they're gonna strike with that. That's okay. Imagine being named after your weapon. Salt! I would just have salt. Runs only 12 to 15 units. Three posse, three deserter, three grave doctors, no champs, and three of something else. They've forgotten this for. That's the f for the list. The last Beasley Noxus deck. Interesting. Oh, right. You're gaining things. That's fine. I can handle some things. We got a bird. We got my dooley. We got things to cast. I'm going to die to darkness. That's okay. At le well, actually, if my units can stay above the darkness. I might have a chance. That's probably not gonna happen though, is it? We're going up to 34. That's a lie, we're going up to 32. Yeah, 32 here, which is fine. Let's cast a 5-7. It is of note that they do have to make darknesses, which they can, probably. Summon the darkness. Has it already been an hour and a half? God damn. I'm probably gonna head out after a few more games. Um, because as some of you noticed, I did get food, and I want to eat food. Food is good. Can I just pass? Four to an enemy. I mean, they're gonna make the bard pretty big, right? They're gonna make bard big, but I might be able to make bard bigger. Can I make bard bigger? I'm gonna make bard bigger after one more Maduli pro. Um. Okay, these are both five sevens hitting the right fucking targets. You are God Willow seedling on that. Ooh, it's a shiny God Willow seedling. Yo, prismatic God Willow is beautiful. That color scheme works. It's like really fantastic, actually. I love it. Anyway, does eating make me sleepy? Does eating make me sleepy? No, not well. Sometimes it depends on uh, it <laughs> depends on how zooted I am usually. Eight is fantastic. Eight's a good number. Warm. Good. Fuck you! I have big boys. This is a 10-9, holy shit. It doesn't matter. Okay, the fire can go face now. But my units don't give a fuck. They don't give a fuck, my units. We're at 65 chimes and I'm already fucking swole as shit. We're already swole as shit. This is beautiful. You don't have fast speed darknesses at least. Time to race. Time to race that darkness. Ha! All right. Well, this actually dies. I don't want it to die yet. I don't want it to die, the, the Maduli. Or not the Maduli, the Bard. I want the Bard to keep buffing my board presence. So six, seven is 13. So if I can get a good open attack, I think we have it. Because 
it's gonna be six now, bringing me down to nine. It's gonna be seven next turn, bringing me down to two. They're gonna be permanently slow speed because they don't have Senna. Rage for lethal with a bard attack. Oh, right. I'm forgetting how dragon's rage works. Uh, deals damage to all enemy targets. What happens if I just do this, though? Down to one. Unfortunately. I do get the bard out of the way, but then everything else dies. But then I only have to deal with the Des and Ada, and they have no counter spells, right? I think this is correct. I think we kill the I think we kill the Vigar. We unfortunately lose our units to the Descent Ada. That's okay. We have another bird to refresh our board presence a little bit, which at this point I also just have Fae Folk later. That summons another darkness. But then they only do um and that loses more value, yeah. I have units! And life steal. All right, now they will concentrate on the life steal. Oh, there, yeah, there's okay. There is Kinku in here. There is Kinku in here. Never mind. You don't need more of that. The elements bind the living and the dead. Um. So that hits my nexus. Big fat maduli. Big fat Maduli, 134 chimes. I have life steal after they cast the darkness. Yep, after they cast the darkness, there's no overwhelm damage. This is a deluxe spell. That, I mean, that should... What, Oracle, what are you doing? Copy it targeting the enemy nexus. Wait, what went wrong there? Looks like I, I thought that would hit me. Bye -bye. What are we miscalculating here? When you play your next darkness this round, copy it targeting the enemy nexus. So it targeted both, but why didn't it strike? Why didn't it hit my face? Um, Sentinel bugged? Maybe it's a bug! Because it hit the unit and then it just fizzled. The second one fizzled. That doesn't... That's not right, is it? I don't think that's right. I don't think that's correct. Um, I'm apologies if to my opponent if they ran into a bug that no one knew about, because that fucking sucks. Just that fucking sucks. I mean, I can dragons rage them from here. I'm just gonna swing now. Um, Sentinel is currently bug infested. Oh, okay. I mean, all right. Good to know. Good to know. Good to know. Sucks for them. <laughs> Honestly. Six to an enemy. Can't remove anything super important. There's the karma! Now time to test to see if they have anything called a counter spell. I'm gonna do this and then try and dragon's rage something. Uh, which double casts on a unit. Looks like no one playing Darkness and Play Q for two weeks. <laughs> yeah, don't play something super bugged, especially if it's like that obvious of a bug, you know? Now they don't have a counter spell. Fantastic. Ooh, they could have a drain though. They could drain my unit, but I'm gonna go anyway. They have a drain? Oh, they have the drain! They do have the drain. All right. Memory's cloak. Yeah. That's fine, I guess. <laughs> now I do need to rely on my draws a little bit. Chimes themselves are not a win con, though. So we do have to get some swole stuff. Anything I cast here dies? So I would personally prefer the bar to die over the 9-9 because the 9-9 is just fucking lethal at the moment. I could have a concussive palm, to be fair. They cannot strike what they cannot see. 
Yeah, this looks okay-ish. Um, Boosty, hello, welcome back. How are you today? Yeah, this is unfortunate. But, um, not impossible yet. It's not impossible that we can pull out a win. Uh, it was. It is a very messy time, though. I wish that fucking thing had been a 7-1. I may- I probably just should have held it and waited for it to get fucking stacked. That's too drain. That doesn't solve your problem. For now. For now, it doesn't solve your problem. Don't want to lose a bard? At one HP? I don't want to go down at one HP. Ooh. Ooh. Well, regardless, this has been fun. This is the kind of darkness I'm okay playing against, where they don't get fast darkness out of nowhere. This is fine. I like this kind of thing. Let's see if they have an answer. Let's see what they fucking got. Stun? Stun works. Or silence, I guess. That's a couple of drains. Ooh, living at one HP. Fancy, fancy, all right. So, 14 damage coming in from the darknesses. Uh, Ritual of Renewal also works. <laughs> they have more healing than me now, unfortunately. I don't want to be at peace. I have a 1213. That's fun and exciting, isn't it? That's too many go hearts. <laughs> Can I just say? Uh, it's too many fucking go hearts. Why is it? I'm sorry, what is it doing now? It's a drain one. Oh, wait, does it turn into. Oh, it turns into pack your bags. I see. I see. Okay. Yeah, it turns into pack your bags. At least I don't have the karma at the start of the turn, I guess. Right, because it's been double cast twice now. Intensive action shadow. That just makes the copies. Does it not trigger the... No, it still triggers the five. Okay. It still triggers the five, which I thought was... Which makes sense, yeah. Uh, seven to anything at... Three mana still? Three mana still. Three mana still. So they just recast the karma, and then I die. <laughs> and then I'm out. Uh, drain four is whatever. Ah, oh, one short on lethal. One short on lethal. If I had a few more chimes. Honestly, if I had kept the bard, maybe it would have worked out, but that's okay. Five chimes on nothing! And then I'd go eat shit. All right, goodbye. Thank you. Thank you. <gasps> okay, the little, the seal emote's cute. I'll take that. That's okay. Can I get a Shen, though? I like Shen best. I like Shen best. Just five guards. Dang it. Dang it, just fine, guys. That's okay. That's fine. Uh, UA, apologies if you didn't get exactly what you were looking for. I mean, I got the fucking recall off of the Meduli in the first game, and then they gave up, and then I, um, didn't quite find the same combo in the second one, and then that last one was just fucking weird. <laughs> the last one was weird. Good thing LOR doesn't have all chat. I really don't want any of my cards, to, my card games, to get all chat, because I think I would be unpleasant. I think I would want to go in a hole with all of my opponents and bury them in that hole and then climb out of myself alone. Um, I'm gonna, let's see, what time is it? It is, what, uh, it's 9.42. I want to do one more game. I'm gonna do one more game. Shall we do one more game in ranked? Let's round out with a ranked game. That's my that's my decision. And then we're gonna then I'm gonna go um eat food is what I'm gonna do. Or I could just stay at plat two. Uh no, let's do no, let's do something more fun. Let's do let's do something more fun. I wanna do more bard. 
So I'm gonna play the Bard Galio deck that I have. The day that Bard gets nerfed is a good day, I think, for the balance of the game, but a very sad day for me personally. I think all chat and LOR enemy after many more of you. After your enemy minute forms your win cost. <laughs> no. People would riot. Actually, I wanted the no, I wanted the Gorlith in hand to buff it with all maximum chimes. I have forgotten how to do the thing. The thing. Oh no. Never mind, I'm rolling in chimes anyway. We got it. We're god. I keep saying that. I keep saying that, I honestly don't know why. I do the thing where sometimes I just like, I'll like get a phrase and that'll be like my phrase of the week and then I, um, and I never say it again. And apparently this time it's I'm a god. Minimorph hasn't played as much anymore. Not as much now. Still doing great on that chime work. We're up against TF Annie and they don't have TF they don't have Danny. I'm about to say they don't have TF or Annie, but they just straight up don't have Annie. What the fuck? I have two Gorliths. The Gorlith heard my call for buffing the Gorlith. It listened to me. I don't know how much that matters. I want your TF gone. I want it out of my face. No draw for you! Just a single Brahmi mode is toxic enough? Ooh, I like the Brahmi mode sometimes as an opener. I think if you use it multiple times, then you are toxic. Like one tasteful emote and then you're done. That's that's all you need. One emote in your golden. There's the Annie. No, I will not. I could just fucking straight up cosmic binding. One champion where his emote shouldn't be used for toxicity. It's merely to greet. It is only as a greeting. Okay, that's fine. I got the first Gorlith of the game. Yeah! Gorlith! 52 chimes. That's actually, I mean, now it's doubling good. well because it's doubling good, <laughs> uh, which is great. Take the Annie, buff the stuff. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna make the Maduli fat. I could make the Petrocyte Broadwing fatter, which is probably the correct decision, but I don't want to. I want the Maduli to get all of the buffs. Every single one. Maximum buff. That is a death's hand. Okay. Petrocide into Annie is so satisfying because it literally just hits. They can't do anything about it. It just smacks. It's amazing. It doesn't lose any of its damage dealing ability. Is Meduli everyone's inner band kid? Just plonking away. I No, let's not do this. Let's never do this. Uh, we're 26 to 25. We're also level bard. That's 25 still. It's still 25. Yo, we're exactly scraping by. Because it hit the spell shield and not the 610. Yeah! Yeah! If they flock, though, I do lose a bunch if they flock. Because I will not no longer be able to hold on to all of this. It's a disintegrutus. Oh, you're disintegrating my boy. No. Goodbye, you beautiful thing. Never mind. I wish it hit the other. Oh, did you sack disintegrate wrong? Oh my god, you fucking did. Did you. You sacked it wrong. What are you doing? All right. Well, I figured it out, but. <laughs> they had another spell, which makes sense, but they did it wrong. Oh, God. Understandable, though. Very understandable. We all mess up a proc from time to time. Bard. Hopefully no more disintegrates. They don't cast disintegrate again ever uh, because they're too ashamed. That's the dream. They're too ashamed to cast disintegrate. 
Yes, a Mukit rune. I don't like the Mukit runes. They hurt. My stuff is big and it will continue to be large. Uh, opponent <laughs> mad. <laughs> they got her little bait. Very value. Pretty good value. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, what's his face? Thank you, Galio, for being for being a bro. They're killing my. They're killing the thing. They're not killing a thing. Actually, how much damage is that? Uh, four and two. Uh, four and two, which is six. So I can buff. And I hold on to it. Now that ain't a thing. They could have another... Ah, it's too bad. So they have limited options here. They can disintegrate again. Looks like they don't. We gotta surrender. I didn't even cast Thorless. They just gave up. You know, uh, I think I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna end on a high note. The high note of Barb did the thing that I love him for the most, which is just to get buff things. Uh, so I'm going to leave it there for now. Thank you all for joining today. I had a lot of fun. I hope you did as well. We're back in my happy place, which is apparently plat two. I don't know if I'm going to get to dive in this season, but we're going to I'm going to keep slowly chipping away at it as we go um, and see if I hit it. We'll just see if I hit it. Tomorrow is the start, by the way. Um, of Runeterra, Runeterra for the right to choose charity stream event for a uh, reproductive health organization. Problem with the deck is when you clear a unit, it needs to use two cards. If opponent spam, big needs they will use their hand size. Uh, oh yeah, I mean, this deck isn't good. This is just something I slapped together to try and make my HP very big. <laughs> um, rank doesn't matter. Have a fundraiser tomorrow. It's from July 9th for a whole week, Saturday to Saturday. Um, there is a Twitter post that I will try to post. Remember to put in the Discord. And I'll also be posting some donation perks that uh, will be up live tomorrow. Uh, it's like, I want to say 20 plus, 10 to 20 plus people all fundraising for a week. I think their team goal is 5,000 total. Uh, mine is currently set to 250, but no pressure, just a fun thing to participate in, raise awareness, so on and so forth. That begins tomorrow. Um, and she'll be going through the week of, on my stream and many others as well. Um, but speaking of tomorrow, so that'll be kicking off. I'll also be doing Hollow Knight at 3 o'clock uh, and then Runeterra around 5 or 6. I have a potential ending to get to in Hollow Knight, so kind of excited for that. Um, in the meantime, I've just been platforming a bunch, uh, trying to learn how to do Path of Pain. So uh, that's, that's the summary. That's it. I'm going to go now. <laughs> Thank you all for coming by. Um, let me find someone to raid out to. Again, if you have any recommendations, uh, yell them out loud. I will definitely hear it um, half a universe away. Uh, for sure. For sure I will hear it. <laughs> um, finally reaching endings. Yeah! No longer the days I fall into acid. The shush. Shush you. <laughs> Shush. Uh, all right, let's see. There's me. Who is smaller than me and also streaming in English? Not a ton of people. Oh, but this person is celebrating a new affiliate. Let's go. Let's go raid them. That's a pretty big achievement. Um, so thank you all again for joining. I'll be back tomorrow at three as per usual. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. Happy time zone to you. Uh, and thank you for coming by. Uh, Nook LOR is a cool dude. Fantastic. We'll go, we'll go check him out. Um, and thank you all again. Thank you for joining my stream and my madness. Uh, and that, yeah, I'm just babbling now. Goodbye. Good night.